today I'm reviewing the Stradia Skin Interface Peptide Cream. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor as a video. So if you help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, join my Patreon community, or click on the links below. So I think Stradia is having a sale still, I believe. Fingers crossed. I can't remember. But of course, I bought this right before the sale started. Just, just like always. That always happens to me. So anyway. Okay, so they call this a modern daily moisturizer enriched with encapsulated and targeted peptides to help hydrate, firm, and repair with each use. Interface's luxurious formula melts into skin for a quick absorbing, comfortable finish and is rich, enriched with licorice root extract, provitamin B5, rose hip seed oil, and the most exciting green of all, hyaluronic acid. Or not so much. But anyway, they threw it in there because why not? Okay, my first criteria is packaging. I actually like the packaging. I like the green. You don't see a lot of companies go with lime green for their packaging. So, although I, I get it, they kind of have fun colors. But I like the pump bottle. It's very nice. And the nice thing about the pump on this, I notice on a lot of pumps, like the inside of it can get like dried out before the next time you use it. Even if you use it twice a day, this does not. So I love that about it. Uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does contain a small amount of polyvinyl alcohol, which is a film forming alcohol. It's typically used in like the peel off mass, like the, uh, it's the most popular one, that Basha charcoal peel off mask is a very popular one. Um, but it's also a preservative, so it's not going to be a huge issue for almost everybody, but it's in there. So anyway, I think it's one of the very last ingredients too. Let me check. Yeah, it's, it's like the fifth to the last ingredient, so not a big deal for most people. Okay, in terms of fragrance, there's no fragrance ingredients or noticeable scent to this, so that's wonderful. Uh, the manufacturing location for this is the U.S., so no issues with that. So ease of use, very easy to use. It's got a nice texture to it, kind of a gel texture, very similar, in my opinion, to the Drunk Elephant proteiny texture to it. And uh, I would say a pump, pump and a half is enough to cover your face and neck and it absorbs really nicely and it doesn't end up feeling greasy or anything like that. It plays well with other products. Um, yeah, so you can use it morning and evening. I really like using it both, although in the evening, um, sometimes I'll mix a little bit of this with the liquid gold or I'll mix a little bit of this with a little bit of rosehip seed oil. Um, one of my patrons, Elias, sent me some wonderful rosehip seed oil, which I really hadn't gotten into much until then. Now I'm using it all the time and I just love it, so... Um, anyway, so really wonderful, sets to a non-greasy, uh, natural finish. It doesn't look super matte. It's not shiny though, so it makes it wonderful for daytime. Really works nicely under all my sunscreens and it layers wonderful, so I really like it. So Stradia also mentions, uh, Stradia mentions you can safely use Interface with all other skincare products. While peptides on their own can be unstable or reactive, our active peptides are encapsulated with a two-layer biopolymer that protects them from interaction with other ingredients, which is also probably part of the reason for that polyvinyl alcohol, which I, if it were like the first ingredient or second or third ingredient, I'd be like, oh, it's kind of drying, but it's not terribly so. And Lincoln is getting into the chair. He's not very good at getting into the chair. There we go. He figures it out, but you know, when the chair is on rollers and the dog is leaping towards it, it's generally not going to be great. So um, anyway, so really nice encapsulation um, that they did with this. So there we go. Okay. Antioxidants and beneficial ingredients in this one. So we've got squalane, skin identical ingredient, antioxidant. We've got panthenol, skin soothing, hydrating, wound healing, rosehip oil. I was just talking about it. Antioxidant emollient loaded with fatty acids. Uh, for the peptides in here, we've got palmitoil, heptapeptide 27, which is a signaling peptide and a skin conditioning ingredient. Uh, we've got palmitoil, oleogopeptide 78. Some of these I've never heard of as peptides, or I just hadn't seen them in other products really before. That's another sing signaling peptide skin conditioning ingredient. It can also help with the barrier repair. Uh, we've got palmitoil octopeptide 24, which is another skin conditioning and targeting peptide. It targets the skin to repair the barrier. Uh, copper palmitoil heptapeptide 14, another peptide said to stimulate the production of elastin and collagen in the skin, can also help with barrier repair, which is awesome. Uh, then we've got heptapeptide 15 palmitate, which is a skin conditioning peptide, helps to deliver other peptides deep into the skin and also stimulates fibroblast production in skin and helps with barrier repairing. So, if you have an irritated skin barrier, this might be the product you're looking for with all those 
berry pairing peptides in there. So uh, wonderful, nice five peptide list. It's interesting that they didn't pick some of the common ones that you see often, like the Matrixel 3000 one. You always see that or that Syncol peptide. They didn't pick any of the, the obvious ones. So they picked some of these and uh, I'm sure they did their research because this brand is very research focused. The owner of the brand is very passionate. Um, so I have a feeling I picked these for a certain reason. And I will say uh, my skin has been irritated with the change from spring to or not spring from the change from summer to fall and now to snow and winter time. And I think this help helping my skin um, with its barrier and keep some hydration. So I'm impressed with that. Okay, and in terms of other ingredients, we've got licorice root extract, which is skin conditioning and ingredient and antioxidant, sodium hyaluronate, a humectant. Uh, we've got glycolic acid and lactic acid, which you typically recognize as exfoliants. However, they're used in the encapsulation of the peptides in this product and not for exfoliation. And then finally, we've got vitamin E, antioxidant, hydrating, and photoprotecting ingredient. So um, in terms of animal testing, this is cruelty-free as well as vegan. So that is awesome. We love that. For performance, it's wonderful. It's got just a nice light texture. I would say this is great for almost all skin types. Because it really, you can apply a couple layers if your skin is dry, and it really is wonderful. I enjoy mixing it with Australia Liquid Gold as well. Um, really does help, seem to help firm up skin as well as help with the barrier, I would say. Um, pretty friendly for most skin types as well. Uh, except for acne-prone skin, it contains a few ingredients of note, squalane, dimethicone, c terra alcohol, and vitamin E, which are all kind of iffy. So it just depends on squalane, typically on its own is far more acneogenic than when you use it in formulas, for me anyway, and for like a lot of other people, so. Okay, in terms of the price, so this is a full size 1.7 ounces, 50 milliliters, and it retails for $25. So this is a bargain, uh, considering most moisturizers uh, at Olay or Target or Ulta, most moisturizers, you're not gonna find many under $25. Even I think the Neutrogena Hydro Boost is around that price. So this is a deal in my opinion. And if you can get it on sale, it's even better. So, um, okay. Then in terms of the effect, I really love this one. Really nice moisturizer. It's, it will work well, in my opinion, for almost all skin types, except for uh, very acne prone skin. Uh, there's some similar dupes and all of them are much more expensive, including the Ozceuticals Peptide Moisturizer, which I love. It's a wonderful moisturizer, but it's much more expensive. Uh, the Tula Protect and Plump Moisturizer, another similar product, much more expensive. Uh, the Drunk Elephant Proteiny has some similarities in there. It's not super identical, but it is very similar in texture and some of the peptides they used. And then the U Beauty Smart Hydrator. I, I think the U Beauty brand is pretty overrated in my opinion, especially when they charge like a hundred bucks each product. And none of them are that exciting to me so far. So anyway. Okay, so with a 10 being a perfect score, Lincoln wants to make a brief appearance, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. Muffin! Come here. Hi. You like this one? There we go. So with a 10 being a perfect score, I give this one a 9. Very close to being a 10 in my opinion, but um, anyway, very wonderful product overall. And interesting to hear from you guys if you've had a chance to check this one out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, so leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. Oh, Lincoln's like, God, that looks like our backyard right now. <laughs> it is. It's like our backyard with snow. Um, anyway, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.